Cynthia, thank you very much for giving me all of that very comprehensive information that makes it a lot easier for me to make some recommendations for you. I'm going to make a bold recommendation and, <clears throat> um, and I'll go through it, but it involves three products, I, I know, <laughs> um, and it also has a um, makes a very bold recommendation about your second pram. Now, the yo-yo is amazing and I know why you love it, um, but I'm actually going to propose a different pram for your second pram and I will tell you why. To start with, <clears throat> I'm going to start with the car seat for a taxi uh, in Singapore. So I recommend the Cosco Sonera Next quite simply because it is the only rear-facing toddler car seat that can practically go in a taxi three days a week. It is three kilos, which is a lot lighter than your um, Be Safe Easy Go <clears throat> that you're using with the yo-yo at the moment. Um, and it will keep uh, your little one rear facing until 18 kilos, which is around four to five years of age. Um, it is a US certified car seat. So it's not legal to use in Europe. I'll get there, I'll get there. It is legal to use in um, the US. Um, parts of Canada, if you're a tourist, apparently, this is new information to me, this whole tourist exemption for Canada. Um, and I actually got that from um, like a manufacturer of car seats, which kind of makes me think it could be true, but I've never heard it before. So fair, fair warning on that one, you might want to check. Um, and it is of course legal to use in the US. Did I mention New Zealand? It's cool to use this one in New Zealand. Um, and also of course, most of Asia, um, Singapore, definitely. Um, and then the rest of Southeast Asia, they don't have super duper hard rules. Um, even Malaysia's new legislation, you can use it. It's just not, not, not legal for a Malaysian retailer to import it, but they're totally fine if you use it. Um, <clears throat> it it's the product that I use for my kids. Like you said, you're, you're keen on a rear facing car seat. Now to go with this car seat, so most prams are not compatible with toddler car seats because it's not a big market. I mean, most, most people who have toddlers have cars. We're in a really unique situation here in Singapore. So it's, uh, it's not a common feature to find a pram that is compatible with a toddler car seat, but the mountain buggy nano stroller is one of the biggest competitors to the yo-yo. Um, I think it is a very solid competitor. It's got a much more pocket friendly price point. The new version, which we've got lays flat from birth. So you don't need to um, like to change the seat or anything like that. Um, and the biggest thing is that it is officially compatible with the Cosco Sonera Next. All right, now one of the big things about this is that the sunshade, this is an awesome photo, the sunshade from the Cos from the Nano fits over the top of the Cosco. And you might not be able to see here, but um, the, the reason that it works with toddler car seats is unlike the yo-yo where the car seat clicks into the pram adapter, the mountain buggy nano has straps. It's got a strap adapter. And so you put this, the straps either through, I mean, this person here is using the forward facing belt path of the Cosco, but if you recline the, the seat of the pram, then the Cosco will sit back a little bit more and you can put the strap through the rear facing belt path, which is just a bit, bit more at the front here. Um, and it's really solid. And it works really well and it's officially compatible. Like it's been safety tested and everything. Um, now I love the I love the Nano in general. I think it's a really fantastic pram. I've got three boys under five and one of the big things that I like about it is that I can put any of the boys in there, even the baby, in a, even in a lay flat position and, um, and I don't have to change the seat. In fact, the Nano's got a really high weight range uh, like a high weight limit, it goes up to 20 kilos. I know that the new yo-yo has a very high weight range as well. Um, 
but the nano is kind of over engineered like mountain buggy you're just really well known for really rugged they're like the range rover of prams really rugged um prams and so in the in the compact pram category like you don't find very many robust compact prams um so my five-year-old actually climbs <laughs> climbs in the basket uh face first like superman <laughs> And then with the seat reclined, my one-year-old sits in the back and my two-year-old, my two-and-a-half-year-old sits on the front. <laughs> um, and, and, I, and I take my three boys around in, the, in a compact pram. And absolutely, this is like totally not, to, um, <laughs> not, not, not regulation usage of the Nano, but um, it holds up really well. So... That is something to consider. For Singapore, I don't think that you could have a better tax, rear-facing taxi solution than the Cosco Scenario Next plus the Mountain Buggy Nano. But what do you do for Europe? Um, and you may delay this second option that I'm telling you until you actually travel to Europe. Um, the only rear-facing European travel car seat is the Nat Fogger. It's an Austrian design and it's very cool. And don't be alarmed when I say that it is an inflatable car seat. It uses super impressive new engineering technology. And once it's inflated, it feels like a rock solid plastic car seat. It's very impressive. Um, <clears throat> so this has the same specs as the Cosco in that it will be able to take the child up until they're 18 kilos. It's a rear-facing only car seat. Um, it's airline approved like the Cosco, but it is, you can see here, it is super um, deep. Like, like if you're putting that in the back seat of a car, it does take up a lot of space. Um, this is what it looks like in its carry bag format. It weighs five kilos. The Cosco weighs three. Um, I believe that uh, it comes with a pump. Um, now, I believe that this is not suitable for um, taxis in Singapore for two reasons. One, for it to be genuinely portable, you need to deflate it and inflate it each time. And uh, while it is you know, easy to do, that is a whole nother set of steps that you need to go through every time you get in and out of the, the cab. And so um, it is absolutely perfect for holidaying and rental cars and the odd taxi <clears throat> here and there, but I would not want to do this three days a week. Um, the other thing is that when it is inflated, it doesn't fit on a pram. And that's sort of another reason why I don't think it's super practical for taxis, but it is amazing for traveling in Europe. <clears throat> um, so that's my recommendation. Okay, let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you later. Have a good weekend.